the daughter of the infamous Happy Face serial killer has publicly shared letters that she's received from her father while he's in prison. Melissa Moore, who's known as Ed Life After Happy Face, on TikTok, posted a video about a letter she received from her dad. She received an overwhelming response on the app with more than 6 million views on the video and a whole lot of questions. She was only 15 years old when her father was arrested and charged with murdering at least eight women in 1995, Moore told Newsweek. My dad is known as the happy face serial killer but he's known as dad to me, Moore said. He's serving multiple life sentences in Oregon State Penitentiary. Keith Jesperson is currently serving five non-consecutive life sentences in the state penitentiary. The Canada-born truck driver and divorced father of three. Jesperson claimed to have killed eight women in five states, Washington, California, Florida, Wyoming, and Oregon. Moore has dozens of letters from her father, she said. But she wanted to share the most recent one she received after her wedding in July, in particular. The now viral video is in response to a comment on another one of Moore's videos. The comment said, when your father writes to you, what is the basis of his letters? The TikToker added, also, slightly odd to ask, but does he still put smiley faces on his letters? The notorious murderer was dubbed the happy face killer. For the smiley face drawings he included, on a letter he sent to a Portland newspaper, in which he bragged about his killings. My serial killer father from prison sends me letters like this, Moore said in the TikTok that's received around 5,000 comments. She went on to talk about her summer wedding and said her dad included a printed picture of her and her husband from their wedding that Shed shared online in his letter. So he's somehow able to see my Instagram from prison, she said in the video. In the letter, he says that I am fat and my husband is fat and we don't run. The serial killer's daughter went on to say, he then tells me maybe this marriage will work. Her imprisoned father even asked why wasn't I invited at the end of his letter, she said. He also said, remember most of all daughter, I never stopped loving you. I sometimes now wonder if he was freed now, if he was released, would he kill again? And I believe he would, Moore told 2020 in an interview last year. She said, I don't believe my dad is sorry, at all. What he is sorry about, though, is that he got caught. Her father's killing spree went on, from 1990 until 1995, when he turned himself into authorities, ABC News reported. In another video on her TikTok, Moore said she probably doesn't even have enough counseling to deal with being the daughter of a serial killer. I go weekly, on Fridays, and I started going to therapy when I noticed triggers. She said in her video replying to a TikToker who asked have you had extensive counseling to deal with this? You are so brave. Moore additionally said that she works in true crime with other crime survivors where she started noticing some patterns in their life that were caused by the trauma of what they lived through. She said that made her able to see that she was also dealing with some of those trauma responses. Moore said she's really grateful to the other survivors for pointing that out to her. Otherwise, it's very terrifying for a lot of survivors.